After a brutal 95% decline on his 5.5 million subscriber YouTube channel, Beijing Canadian or Mitch has seemingly disappeared from YouTube and the internet forever. Or at least, that's what he wants you to think. While fans think he's gone completely missing, Beijing Canadian has been doing something else secretly behind the scenes. But let's start from the beginning and find out why he allegedly disappeared in the first place. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mitch or Beijing Canadian, and today I'm in 2009, to Mitch would see his first presence on YouTube on a channel named Awesome Sauce Films. This channel was not owned by Mitch himself, but rather his good friend, now known as Jerome ASF. Jerome, who wasn't taking YouTube too seriously, allowed Mitch to post his own videos and gameplay onto his channel, and he did so, posting consistent RuneScape videos, which over time amassed a decent amount of viewership. Once he got bored of RuneScape in early 2011, he moved on to Black Ops Zombies, which over time would again see some more success. But it was around this time when Mitch actually decided to take YouTube a lot more seriously. So he started his own YouTube channel named Beijing Canadian. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch or Beijing Canadian from Awesome Sauce Films, and I just got back from shoveling the driveway. Fast forward to 2012, Mitch would experiment with different games, making some Minecraft series, including Skyblock, which would actually perform pretty well. But it wasn't until April of 2012 that Mitch's channel would see its first glimpse of large scale success his Minecraft Hunger Game series. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here, and I'm doing Hunger Games. This would be the golden age of the Beijing Canadian channel, with his videos amassing millions of views with each upload. He would even go on to make Minecraft music videos, one peaking at over 100 million views, making it the most popular video on his channel to this day. But as people say, once you reach the top, the only way you can ultimately go is down. But real quick, 25% of you guys actually pour in the milk first before the cereal. So if that's not you, make sure to subscribe because this is actually a new channel. Towards the end of 2014, Mitch had gained over 605 million views just that year, which was a new peak for the Beijing Canadian YouTube channel. But just next year, his viewership would drop significantly, down to 400 million by the end of 2015. But this isn't even that bad. 400 million views in a year is actually really good, something most YouTubers can't achieve. But Mitch's viewership would continue to drop, and most of his videos dropped down to around 50,000 views, some videos even getting as low as 12,000 or less views. And as his subscriber count started to lower, so would his confidence level. Finally, let me know what I can do to win you back over, because I really want to go back to the days of uh, sort of early 2014, where I'd upload a video and there'd be 2,000 comments. Eventually in 2016, Mitch would become desperate after dropping below the 6 million subscriber mark. He even got so desperate that he would post a video titled My Channel Is Dead, which would be a sad attempt at garnering sympathy from his audience. This would be the first of many attempted comebacks, which would all fail miserably. This only led to his viewership dropping even more, and after a long break and another failed comeback late 2016, 2021 and early 2022, Beijing Canadian's channel had officially hit a new low. After a long break without any updates, it turns out Mitch was actually working on a big project, which would turn out to be a Skyblock Minecraft server. Eventually, Beijing Canadian would make this community post, updating his fans on what was going on, and even promising a return to making videos in the near future. When I do start to upload vids again, I'm gonna make sure that it's quality over quantity. Going to have a nice new thumbnail, hand-drawn style, and some simple but nice editing on each vid. I do miss making videos, but I don't have anything at the moment that I really want to record. When my new server is ready, I'm going to be back to creating videos to share it with you all. It's the most money, time, and energy ever invested into a project. I'm not rushing it. I want this game slash server to be the best thing in Minecraft this year. The team and I are working hard to achieve that goal. However, his server would fail miserably, barely managing to actually get any long-term attention. In fact, I personally didn't even hear about it until I started researching and scripting this video. On February 5th, 2022, Beijing Canadian would upload the very last video on his channel titled Minecraft but it's Lucky Block Hunger Games. But this video, along with his other recent videos, was not even able to reach the 100,000 view mark. This is when Mitch would just go missing. There's been no activity on his YouTube channel or other social media platforms. The last activity from Mitch on Twitter was a Happy New Year tweet at the beginning of 2022. His sudden disappearance would leave his 
longtime loyal fans in a state of confusion, all of which asking the same question. What happened to Beijing Canadian and where is he now? Is he dead? Is he just busy with real life? Well, luckily, your chat sword has some unheard of secret information that none of y'all peasants know. Nah, like seriously, I know where he is and why he hasn't been active on social media. Well, actually, he's been pretty dang active on his brand new YouTube channel. You heard me right, The Mitch has started a new YouTube channel where he is literally uploading daily. And if you've been active in the Minecraft community, you would know that this is actually a trend amongst big YouTubers like Not Nico, Fearful, Corian, and more. Have you guessed it yet? Yeah, this bows actually started a kids channel. Hey in Rainbow Friends, we see what purple looks like and what he's up to when he leaves the vents. <sighs> What did I just listen to, bro? Please subscribe if you feel bad for me. He actually owns a network of these channels, all of them posting Roblox and Minecraft videos that get thousands of views each upload. After some more research and digging, it turns out he was signed with an agency called Blackshore, who is helping him grow his new channel and producing videos. This agency helps him with marketing and strategies to grow his channel. But Mitch is actually pretty genius, I mean, he saw a trend in an opportunity and went with it. His kids channel was started on July of 2022, and he's been posting pretty consistently, actually in fact daily since the start of his channel. But enough beating around the bush, his channel name is Sunny and Melon, and it's pretty dang obvious that it's Mitch slash Beijing Canadian if you hear the voice in the videos. It's an epic hide and seek secret spots in Roblox! Welcome to Lucky Block Hunger Games, with 10 minutes of grace period, no PvP, and a local in game chat mod installed. Also, Melon, his partner in crime, I think is Jerome ASF, but I've talked to other YouTubers and that hasn't yet been proven. But honestly, I think that this is a really good move business-wise for Mitch. The other channels in his network are Melon and Sunny, which also have Roblox videos, and Sunny posting Minecraft videos. Also, all three channels are able to just somehow pump out videos daily with no breaks at all. Sunny and Melon has 600,000 subscribers, Melon and Sunny has 350,000 subscribers, and Sunny has 255,000 subscribers. Not bad at all considering they just started 10 months ago. All combined, the channels have over 260 million views, which is insane, and they continue to grow to this day, as his new channel seems to be doing really well. Honestly, a massive W. He probably rakes in tons of cash, which, hey, you know, I honestly respect. However, he did abandon his previous audience on the Beijing Canadian channel, though not much of an audience because, as mentioned earlier, his channel did fall off. So that's Beijing Canadian, the YouTuber who disappeared, but did end up making a comeback in an unsuspected way. If you guys enjoyed, smash that subscribe button. And with that, bye bye, my fellow internet nerds.